Oh, nice. Looks like Charles finished reviewing my latest push. Let's see what he has to say. Hmm. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hey, Charles. How's it going? Hey, man. Pretty good. Just uh, finishing up a couple things before I call it a day. How about you? Yeah, same here. Actually, I uh, just pulled up your code review. Oh, nice. Do you have a minute to go over it? If not, we can look at it tomorrow. Oh, no, let's do it now. Great. Shouldn't take too long. I just have a quick comment about one file. Wait, let me guess. Is it spawner.cs? It sure is. How'd you guess? <laughs> I just figured you'd catch me copying code. I totally grabbed all of that from Stack Overflow. Ah, copying code, huh? <laughs> well, actually, that isn't what I was going to say. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man. You can copy as much code as you want. That's why it's there. Now, what I was going to talk to you about was your code styling. Code styling? Really? Yeah. Here, let me share my screen. All right, so here's your spawner class. And again, the code works fine. But the problem is that it isn't consistent with the rest of your project. Right, because I literally copy and pasted the whole thing. You think I should have modified it to look like the rest of my code? Well, yeah. Huh. I just thought it was some throwaway code that got the job done. Well, to be fair, it was until you added it to your project. But now that it's there, you really should treat it like it's your own code. Meaning I should restyle it? Exactly. Here, think about it this way. Have you ever read a blog post with really bad formatting? Oh man, those are the worst. Right? They're harder to read because your brain has to do extra work to decipher the unfamiliar formatting. Huh. I never thought about it like that. Oh yeah. The mind is great at recognizing patterns. So you want to use them as often as possible, especially in your code. <laughs> you know, I always thought you were just really picky about your code, but there's actually a reason behind it. Yeah. Who would have thought that I just wanted my code to be easier to read? And I'm not the only one. Here, check this out. There's a whole section in Microsoft's own documentation that's dedicated to coding conventions, all in the name of making your code easier to read and understand. Wow. OK, fair enough. But let me ask you this. What if I'm the only one that's reading my code? Don't these conventions only apply to libraries or public APIs? Well, you might think so. But I like to imagine that there's always at least two people working on any given project my past self and my current self. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There's three of us now? <laughs> Hear me out. Sometimes I look at code that I wrote a week ago and I can barely remember what it does or how it even works. That code was written by my past self. If my past self doesn't write code using the conventions that we both agreed on, then I have to spend more time trying to understand what his code actually does. Okay, I, I understand. And to be honest, I can definitely relate. So now what? Well, if you're interested, I can show you some of the conventions that I use the most, and then we could use them to refactor your code. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. Awesome. Here, let me switch back to the code. All right, so we'll keep this simple. We're gonna apply some of the most commonly used conventions in C-sharp to the layout, order, and names being used in your spawner. Okay, that sounds simple enough. Good, so let's start with the layout. The rule of thumb is to have one statement per line. That includes declarations, expressions, and conditionals, which you've pretty much got covered. But that rule also includes brackets. Oh yeah, you know, that did seem pretty weird to me. Right. It looks like whoever wrote this code placed the opening bracket of the class, methods, and conditionals all in the same line. So let's go ahead and fix that by moving each one of them to their own line. Yeah, that's looking better already. Next, let's play with the ordering of your fields and methods. In fact, I'm curious, what do you think about it? Hmm. Well, I guess the only thing that really jumps out to me is that last spawn time field. Maybe it should go up at the top with the other fields too? Yep, sounds about right to me. What about public and private fields or methods? Does it matter what order those are in? Well, like most of this, it all comes down to your personal preference. But since you asked, my preference is to place all of the serialized fields, private or public, at the top because those are the ones that are exposed in the Unity editor. Hmm. Yeah, and I guess whoever's reading that code will have a pretty good idea about what kind of data that class has to work with. Yep, exactly. And other than that, I generally follow serialized fields with private fields, then public properties and methods, and finally, the private methods. You know what? I actually already do all of that. I just never really put any thought into it. 
Yeah, well, that's a good thing because you and I work together a lot and it's kind of nice to have a sort of shared language. Yeah, definitely. All right, we're almost done. The last part is the most subjective and unfortunately most polarizing among developers and that's naming conventions. I knew it. I've gotten into so many arguments over this. Why is it so hard to name things? I don't know. I mean, I guess it has to do with language and dialect and maybe even where someone was raised geographically. All of that informs what makes sense to each individual developer. For instance, you might like the word spawner, but it might make more sense to me to call it a, an object creator. Wait, really? No, that sounds awful. But you can see how easily this conversation can go off the rails. Oh yeah, sure. So for now, as far as naming goes, we're just gonna focus on case, as in Pascal case versus camel case. Okay, that definitely sounds safer. Now, Pascal case is when the first letter of each word is capitalized, like in the words mono behavior or game object. According to Microsoft's documentation, Pascal case should be used for all identifiers except parameters. So that would include fields, properties, class names, method names, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and update this method here to reflect that. What about the fields? Well, here's where my own personal preference comes into play. I use Pascal case for all identifiers except parameters, variables, and private and serialized fields. Really? How come? Same reason you do, because Ryder tells me to. Ryder? Oh, well, yeah, I could see that. It's always suggesting formatting to me that I always just sort of blindly accept. There you go, that's why. And honestly, I'm totally okay with that. I actually prefer that my IDE automate formatting for me and other developers that I might work with. It's just one less thing I have to worry about so I can focus on what I'm actually trying to do. Yeah, I get it. So following that same logic, I'm guessing that you use camel case for every other identifier? Yep, that's right. Let's go ahead and apply that to your spawner class. Hmm, nice. See, this looks more familiar and definitely way easier to read. Yeah, I think so too. Now, a word of caution. One of the most important things you can do when working on a project is to remain consistent. Whether you're working alone or especially when you're working on a team, you should use the same styling across your entire project, no matter what. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me that if I join a team that prepends every private member variable with an M and an underscore, that I have to do that too? <laughs> as much as it pains me to say, yes, you do. All in the name of readability. Okay, all right. I'll just be sure to avoid those teams. <laughs> Good luck with that, man. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go ahead and push these changes and then I think I'm gonna grab something to eat, okay? Yeah, sounds good. Hey, thanks for your help, man. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> no problem, man. Have a good one. <laughs> all right, later. A special thanks to my top supporters, Berkowitz 3D, Darkbrush Photography, Joe Tizol, R-Star, Thomas, Trond, Yakub Al-Safari, and Iron Alex. Thanks, guys.